the sessions court in surat a uh, district has uh, dismissed or rejected the plea of rahul gandhi seeking stay on conviction that was granted by the magistrate court in connection with this criminal defamation case uh, while uh, holding him guilty the magistrate uh, uh, sometime in march that's on march 23rd had uh, uh, sentenced him to 2 years a uh, sentence and that's why because he was convicted and also sentenced for at least 2 years in the case on march 24th the lok sabha secretary disqualified him uh, under the uh, representation of people act so challenging the magistrate uh, court order uh, rahul gandhi preferred an appeal before the sessions court and while admitting the appeal the sessions court also suspended the two year sentence but in the meantime rahul gandhi also filed an application seeking stay of the conviction because unless or until he gets a stay of the conviction rahul gandhi cannot get back his lok sabha membership and that's why he sought for an interim stay on conviction till the uh, sessions court uh, uh, decides on the appeal that he has filed but today the sessions court has rejected the plea of rahul gandhi saying that the uh, ke- the the conviction cannot be stayed because while hearing the arguments of both the sides purnesh modi who is an complainant in this particular case he had told the uh, sessions court he argued before the sessions court that uh, uh, the conviction can be stayed only in rare cases but this is not a case where the sessions court can stay the conviction and that's why they wanted uh, the the conviction not to be stayed but uh, rahul gandhi's legal team also put forth a strong argument saying that uh, uh, the the sentence or the conviction that has been granted by the magistrate court is out of proportion in fact they said that there was no jurisdiction for the magistrate uh, to to uh, to take cognizance of this particular case itself because the alleged incident or the alleged speech uh, that was given by rahul gandhi that took place in uh, in kolar in the state of karnataka but the uh, but the surat court could not have exercised jurisdiction for a speech that was given in kolar and also very importantly his legal team also told the court uh, the whatever that has been presented before the court magistrate court by the complainant is based on a message and also a paper clipping and that cannot be uh, treated as an evidence in this particular case that was the argument that was put that was put forth by uh, rahul gandhi's legal team but rejecting the argument and convinced with the arguments of the complainant in this particular case uh, the surat uh, sessions court has rejected the plea of rahul gandhi to stay the conviction so what we are being told is by our sources that once the order copy is out uh, the legal team is already working uh, to file an appeal uh, challenging the sessions court order in the high court gujarat high court so in a day or two uh, his legal team will be moving the gujarat high court seeking a stay of conviction in this particular case